Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Modeling Monday. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Oh, yeah. Day. I said day and then I forgot what I was talking about. Um, real quick, just a couple announcements. Uh, tonight's show is only going to be an hour long uh, because Bar Mills is going to be doing a live stream the first Monday of the month, starting at 7 p.m. until 8.30. So uh, we're going to end at about 7 to uh, let them do their stream. It looks like it's going to be pretty interesting. And then Tom is actually pushing his stream back until 8.30 uh, for them. And I saw a little earlier, Nick says that he's going to go on at uh, 8 o'clock tonight. Nick is usually on a pretty long time, so I usually uh, hit up Nick after Tom. But uh, those are... Some things happening tonight, and then also don't forget Northlands on March thirteenth, noon to two p.m. Uh, Northlands is around, uh, is near Flemington, New Jersey, just outside, sort of the center of Flemington. If people are in the area, I would love uh, to love to see you around, Mike. That is fantastic to hear. I'm hoping that means that uh, things with the wife are uh, are doing well. Uh, let's see. Uh, Let's see who's in here tonight. Uh, we've got Al Mar in the house. Uh, Opa Anthony Dodge is here as well. We have Bangachi Junction Carl. Cameron S. in the house. Dad Cooks is here as well. Crazy Joe, good to see you. I'm glad you posted uh, that video of your other bird. Um, I, know it's, uh, I know it's really tough losing a pet, but um, I'm glad that uh, your other bird's there for you and that, uh, that things are going well. Um, Graham at Lemington Stations in the house. We have Andrew, Mr. Pictovid is here as well. Uh, Nick from Nick's Crossing, who we were talking about earlier. Mr. Pete Clark in the house. Mike Rell Artist this year. John from Schuylkill River Valley, one of the other Sidetrack Sunday members. We have SPN 53, Daylight and Overnight. We have Steve, Don't Be Like Me Childers. Uh, let's see, somebody just popped in, but, oh, we got, uh, Cat Nuts at Southern Yankee Railroad popping in. Uh, let's see. Well, I hope I got most of you, and, uh, if not, we'll, uh, we'll catch it to some people, uh, as we go. But let's, uh, let's say hello to some of the, uh, victims we got in the house. What's going on, Greg? Hi, Heath, how are you going? I'm doing fantastic. That's um, good. Are you uh, still working on your LEDs tonight, or you got another little? No, I've. Um, <laughs> I'm a bit like you. I've given up, but um, I'm uh, going to uh, do a building tonight. So I've got a corner pub that I'm going to work on. Fantastic, fantastic, and Mr. Uh, Mr. Mute Childers, Hi. you're not on mute right now. We can hear you. <laughs> what What are you working on tonight? I have an HO Atlas HO signal tower kit. Well, that's pretty cool. There you go. Oh, hey, everyone's got go. their Blame Heath gear. Good to see. Did uh, your wife order her shirt yet, Steve? <laughs> uh, about ten minutes ago. <laughs> that's too funny. That's too funny. Um, she got the, Eminem oh, short. She got the all around one. Nice, nice. Uh, Eminem Shortline, thank you so much. I just saw that uh, you used the blameheath.support link uh, to support the channel. I really, uh, really appreciate that. So some people are already asking me. Um, you may have seen uh, a little bit, a little bit of an airbrush thing happening in the uh, the thumbnail photo. So yes, I did attempt a little airbrushing. And I'll, uh, that's actually what I'm going to be working on tonight. Um, you can see some of these have a little bit, let's go to this. Then. Some of these have a little bit of, uh, red to them. Some don't have quite as much red to them, but I, I attempted to make the brick look a little bit more brick-ish. Um, I did not want to attempt to airbrush live, so I did this, uh, before the stream, but I have an Iwata. Uh, it's a Neo CN, and it comes with this uh, Neo Air, which is actually this really cute little. I'm gonna open this up. Wait, 
This this is the whole compressor is this little oh, cute. You can see size of my hand and it, it worked pretty well. It's got basically three levels and you know it worked it worked out well. So uh, I obviously have a lot to learn when it comes to airbrushing. Uh, but you know, for a for a first attempt it wasn't the wasn't the worst thing in the world that I've ever done. So that's a that was a good sign. The other thing I want to mention is um, I was watching Vinny and Vinny put together the walls of all of his stuff before he put the windows in. So if you look at uh, the Walther's uh, in lack of but instructions, they show you putting in all the windows first. So I said to Vinny, I was like, why, why did you basically start here? Why didn't you start on the first page? And he said that as long as you don't glue the bottom in, that you can get in afterwards and put all the windows in and that makes it easier to paint. And I said, well, why don't I do that then? So I'm going to skip step one and I'm going to start on step two today. And I'm actually going to put some of this stuff together so that I can then go back later and, uh, you know, do some airbrushing once I get the basic structure uh, together. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, so D. Wells is asking, what pressure does it put out? I feel like I hear somebody in the background. I don't know who it is, though. Uh, on speed button with three steps. I believe it's... Is that your... Somebody, uh... I'm just muting both of you for a second because I don't know what that is. Um, looks like it says 10.5 LPM at open flow. Uh, oh, here it says 4 to 15 PSI. So I don't think, you know, for... Uh, I mostly do N scale, but of course I'm doing some... Uh, this is HO scale right now that I'm working on. So, you know, it seemed to work. It seemed to work okay. Not sure what people are talking about. I got lost. So, gentlemen, just to remind, uh, just for Steve and Greg, in case you didn't hear it, we're gonna go for about an hour tonight. Then yeah. we'll uh, then we'll go check out Bar Milk. Oh, I did want to that, point that, out too. That's good because my daughter's moving out today, so probably the noise was me. Um, uh -huh. with, um, with the kids packing up to leave, so um, she's. I was going to say house. it sounded like an Australian accent, but I couldn't figure it out because I didn't <laughs> see anybody in the room with you. Yeah, no, no, the mic's really sensitive, Heath. So sorry about that. I should have realised it was me. Oh, but good. yeah, the kids are moving out today, so she, my daughter's bought herself a house, and um, so moving day to day. So yes, it's a bit erratic. So an hour is great for me today. Have you moved into uh, her bedroom yet? Have you taken over, uh, made her Not bedroom yet. into a train room Not yet? yet? No, it's still full of stuff. <laughs> no, um, I'll, I'll, I'll still be confined to the garage, unfortunately. Yeah, so Flying Crow and some other people were saying that they paint first and then they touch up as needed. Um, I'm kind of glad I did get kind of a first, you know, pass on some of these. Um some that turned out better than others, and I think that's going to help uh, later. And I do have them back painted, um, and I do, you know, I have a first coat on the on the window pieces and stuff. So I, I do, I think I will probably do a, you know, a light first coat to coat to knock down a lot of, uh, you know, the shininess of it, and then we'll go back and do, you know, a second coat later. I don't know what Digger's complaining about. Uh, Steve, I do have an airbrush. Yeah, I don't know if you were you were here. I guess I can leave it. Leave it here. Maybe it's here. Um, so the other thing I wanted to point out is in the background, if you notice, I've got a train pulling one, two, three, four, five cabises. Uh, I got a cannon cabise. A Pepsi cabise, a Lehigh Valley cabise, a Bicentennial cabise, and a New York Central cabise. 
But I sw switch that up a little bit on uh, what's running in the back there. And I thought uh, I thought we'd go from there and see how see how tonight goes. Um, so I'm going to start with step two. Let me just start pulling out some of the pieces that I need for step two. We'll see how that uh, how that goes. All right. So it looks like we've got the four in-house pieces. I am going to take out, I'm gonna take out this floor structure, but only because I wanna use it to help me square off. Uh, Mr. Petovit, I actually really like that question and I wish I knew the answer. I think that's a very valid question. And I always kind of get confused when I ask that question. I'm glad to see I'm not the only one. Hello, Split Rock 323, whose name I now know is Thomas. Do you prefer Tom or Thomas? It gets really quiet when you mute Steve Childers. Like everything gets down really uh, quiet. So SPM 53 Daylight, wipe down with alcohol to remove mold release, etc. before you do your first tack coat. Oh, that's a good idea. I didn't know that. <laughs> I probably should have done that. Um. Keith, how are you uh, masking tape? Uh, do you have of airbrushing? So I have. Not that. No, that's the copper tape. I need to find my other tape. I'm not sure where I put it, but um, I have some frog tape, uh, which is really good for uh, creating a straight edge. And I also have somewhere I bought, um, and I just don't remember where I put it, but I bought the Tamiya, I think it is the, you know, the little paint, the little uh, masking tape that you use to ash, actually mask stuff off. So, um, yeah, see, it's all, I, you know, I'm glad I'm doing this because I, I don't know if anybody else is learning anything, but I am learning a lot. So I am glad that I am doing this because I wouldn't have thought to wash the parts. Once again, there was nothing in the Walters kit about make sure you wash the parts. So I would not have known that. No, I think we're all learning tonight, hey? Yeah. <laughs> um, Warwick says we have frog tape in the UK. Yeah, I heard it's pretty good, so I thought I'd give it a what, try. But I what do is like frog it. type? Um, it's it's special paint tape. Uh, special painters tape. My understanding, oh. and I need to look into it a little bit closer again. So I apologize. I may be saying something slightly out of turn, but I believe it's moisture activated. Right. Okay. Because I don't know that here in and Australia. And so. The, the reason the moisture activation helps is that when you go and you spray paint over it, the act of actually getting it wet actually helps seal it better against your edge. Right. Um, at least that's my understanding of uh, why frog tape is so good for painting and whatnot. Okay. So if somebody, uh, somebody in the chat knows differently let us know but that's my understanding of frog tape i'm actually okay. curious if like the tamiya masking tape if it has a similar thing where you get it wet it um you know you get it wet and it it does that same sort of thing where it gives you that extra little extra little bond on the edges <laughs> Andrew, Mr. Pictovid's asking, uh, what was that sound? Did somebody escape from Heath's basement? 
he's talking about uh greg i think maybe one of your kids opened the door and it oh yes they did sorry i'll go back on mute sorry (laughs) no 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 it's all good um or Gandhi, I primed this Walters kit prior to painting. Yeah, and that's kind of what I did as well, in a sense, is I, you know, kind of primed it a little bit um, before starting. Now I'm going to attempt. Got a uh, quick set to Mia Extra Thin Cement. And I am going to attempt to. Uh, glue these four walls together. I don't, unfortunately, have any really fancy 90 to... Oh! We've had an accident. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, I, I put the, uh, I put the directions over the track, and the locomotive ran up onto it, and then I, uh, pulled it off, and it fell down. Apparently, if you put you know, a piece of paper over the track, let the locomotive run onto it, and then pull the piece of paper out from under it, the locomotive will off the track. Well, well, I'm having to give up, and I'm going for the glasses. <laughs> I will likely there myself very soon. Martin says, uh, uh, Grandpa Munster lives in Heath's basement. Hello, ICK Studios. I believe you're, uh, you're new around here. I don't know if it's pronounced ICK or Ick, but, uh, thank you. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Yeah, that was definitely a blame Heath moment right there. Take it, knocking the, uh, knocking the, uh, the train off the tracks. I'm wondering if I should be using this for the night three. I was doing a live stream um, on Sunday um, for a church service, and um, it was a blame Heath moment where started the video and it wouldn't start. Yep. And I went, oh, blame Heath, and uh, it took about a minute before the video started. Oh. Oof. Was that because you didn't test it ahead of time, or, or did it? No, no, no. It was just didn't start. No, because the computer had had lost it, it's all its memory because it was a the whole lot was on video or um, PowerPoint. Yep. And I was trying to train somebody how to use the vision mixer and the audio mixer, um, and so we could live stream to um, Facebook. And the sh- as I said, it wouldn't start. And I'm going, oh, please, please, it's his fault. <laughs> Not really. I'm just saying that. But yeah. My neighbors are wondering who he is. Your neighbors are wondering? Yeah. Because I wear the shirts um. on. So uh, D. Wells is asking if it's a card stock. Uh, kit that we're working on um i'm working on a walther's kit uh steve childers is working on a atlas kit and they're both uh plastic i believe and greg what is what are you working on what uh a mid calf metcalf is that uh it's it a is card a card kit. kit there you go it's it's extremely hard to get um plastic kits here in in n scale at the moment because of COVID. i've got a couple card stock kits that i i've been meaning to, uh, to take out and put together and of course i haven't done it yet because you know I've got yep. 600 other things so on the side so, yeah. so dwells if you were talking about greg then yes. If you were talking about myself or Steve Kilders, then no. I think I'm going to do this. I, I've got it. I might as well use it, right? I've got that little, the metal, uh, 
the metal tray. I'm gonna see. Set it up to actually. You guys may watch me get to the point where I blew up one set of walls today. That that could extend to this whole stream. Oh. Um. So Digger, uh, yes, the airbrush works. Um. If you look at look at these guys, you can see they're actually. Um. Uh, you can in the camera, you can actually see the brush strokes a little bit. Uh, but yeah, you can see that little bit of uh, flat red that's on this. Uh, but that is that you can see here. Here's kind of the difference. Uh, so the this I had too much water in the mix, and then this one was mixed a little better, and you can see this has a little bit uh, more red color to it. Who else uses old uh, pill bottles to store their small parts? Um. Yep. Yeah. I do. Yep. Dave P, yep. what are you working on tonight? Hell in the barn. What specifically I'm working on? I'm assuming the same barn from last time. Yep. I'm working on these. Don't know what that is that you're holding up. It's a light fixture. Ah. That's uh, just that's just the shield. So the asking about the doors and I'm guessing about my kit. Um and I painted the doors blue because on this box. The windows and the doors and the sign and stuff look like a weathered blue to me. So I thought this blue would be a good base color. The windows and stuff before I uh, before I weather it. Cool. That's the story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> like this like I feel like this should be 90 on this thing but I'm pretty sure it's not perfect like I feel like it got bent up a little bit I'm trying to figure out a way to I really like um any had these clips that were like a 90 degree clip that you can just like put on and it just holds it perfectly they were from micromark and i looked them up they were like 30 dollars per 90 oh talking about these things not those it was it's a it, it's a similar idea but it's it's a little different and it was just so um they were just too expensive for me <laughs> at the moment and this kit, this present thing. I have to unmute myself before I talk. Uh, Rail Artist has been making some dinner. Even his wife likes his cooking. There you go. Wow. Hi. what I can use to hold this together. Oh, I know what I can use. I'm going to get out some blue painter's tape here. I'm going to use it to just hold this corner, top corner together for me while I glue. Wait a second. What did I miss? Uh, oh, the doors need black paint on the 
side two. Yep, I bet you that's a very true story. See, I tell you, if it if it wasn't for me doing these streams, everything would be uh, rough. So Graham, if you guys remember, who was on here before, was doing a bunch of wiring, and it looks like he says he's got his uh, issue solved. Way, thanks. Good. Like. I'm nervous gluing this up uh, live. I don't know. Uh, Heath, I thought you had paired both, painted both. Of, no, I only painted the one. I didn't. I didn't think of that. Um, uh, figure saying blasted. He saw the saw the comment. Uh, sounds like me. I have my electrical problems, modeling or household. about one is why i'm doing this with the side i'm trying to glue away from me that's one thing the other thing i'm not sure about is whether i actually like it's lined up same So that top corner is glued together. Uh, Digger, of course he did. He's the only one to read and build. That's why he doesn't get much done. Are they talking about me? Who are you guys talking about now? Well, I can't even uh, read it with my glasses on. I've got my glasses on now too. Yeah, I can't read the I can't read the chat when I've got my glasses on. Oh, uh, see, the ones I'm wearing right off. now are my. Yeah, so do I. Right yeah. now are my progressives. Uh, All right. I can't wear those. Uh oh, really? Yeah, I um, I find that really difficult. So I either have I, – I actually have three pairs of glasses. Um, I have one for working on computers, which is, which is motherboard, so, you know, like a 0.8 font. And then I have my reading glasses. And then I have driving glasses. Yeah, I just I've got a bunch of reading glasses, and then I've got uh, this one pair of progressives. Right. So yeah, Bangachu no, Junction is asking if I got the yellow and not the green, and that would be that would be correct. I'm using the yellow. Oh, <laughs> and I found where I put the other masking tape. I put it inside with the frog tape so that I uh, wouldn't misplace it. And I just didn't remember that that's where I put it. So yeah, uh, the yellow frog tape. So what's the difference? I don't remember, but yep. according to what Bangachu Junction is saying, the green uh, sticks more. Right, okay. I think this is one of the first things I, I've glued together that doesn't now have my DNA uh, glued in. Uh, but so I'd say that was a uh, say that was a positive uh, step right there. Let's see if I can do the same exact. 
this other corner. People can help uh, remind me when it gets to like uh, 10 till so I can start wrapping this up. That would be awesome if I lose track of time. I don't know how many people here have this little tray. It's I got it uh, at a at a train show from Micromark. But I got one. The first no. time I'm using it, and I gotta say, it's actually making things uh, easier, making my life easier. They're they're pretty expensive. At the train show, it was like maybe even ten dollars cheaper. Oh, and what yeah, it was no. direct from Micromark. Yeah, see so here it's really expensive. I've never seen them here. I can imagine getting them shipped probably not the not the cheapest. Hey, well, I'm, look, don't think I'm complaining, but the Blame Heath mug, yeah. that's 50 bucks. Wow. Yep, $50 Australian or American? Australian. Yeah, I can. Uh... And that—that's what we look. As I said, I'm not complaining. Don't don't take that the wrong way. But the one of the biggest problems is the the shipping costs. Yeah. Bigger says that once that once uh, I've got all the walls glued together, then he'll explain why it's better to fit the windows in before I assemble the building. <laughs> Bigger, you can explain it while I'm doing it. I'm not gonna. I, I have to back paint my windows, so I can't. I, I can't install them today anyway. So you can you can explain it now, and it's not going to. Uh, it can help. Uh, Lynn McCurdy says uh, I have one from some ten or more years ago. Yeah, I think these things have probably been around for a long time. I don't think they are a. You know, that's my. Greg, do you know? Can you use Teespring in uh, in Australia? Like, do they offer it as a? Not that I'm aware. Not that I'm aware of. It's only from um, America, as far as I can see. But look, I could be wrong. Um, I know they do have a, a like UK distribution, um, right? As well. well, but I know I sent a mug to somebody in the UK, and it shipped from the US. Yeah, well, see, that's where I got it from. I sh shipped it from straight from from US. Uh, SPM fifty three. I always use five hundred six canopy glue. Yeah. So what I got that I'm gonna try, and it's actually the first time I'm trying it, is um, I got the micro crystal clear, micro scale industries. I'm gonna give this a shot, uh, but I do know that a lot of people just use canopy glue but i thought um when i actually go to put the windows in i'm, I'm probably gonna eat that oh and i also have people were asking earlier um here no back to this one. Uh, i also got some micro mask which supposedly works pretty well to uh um, works pretty well as well um, so Drew is asking if this is a call-in show, so I'm going to play that little banner across the bottom, and we'll let Drew read that, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, Boulder Creek Yard says, I like the Crystal Creek, but mainly the Crystal Creek, Crystal Clear. 
but mainly because it's easier to get here. Um, and that's actually why I ended up with like the version of MicroMask that I got because I was looking at a couple different brands and that was the one that seemed that I could get. Um, it wasn't dried out by the time I got it. All right, so Digger says, the thing is, once the walls are assembled, it's more difficult to fit the frames in. If you decide not to glaze them, glaze them first, it'll be more difficult And if you decide to paint after. Yeah, I guess it was kind of, you know, Vinny was going to do it after with N-Scale, and I figured if Vinny can do it with N-Scale, I could try it with, uh, with HO scale and kind of see. We'll see what happens. I don't, you know, I mean... I've got, I think it's three kits. Um, so this is from the Walther's National Model Railroader build-off series of kits. So there's three of them uh, that I got. So this is the first one that I'm working on now. So I have three others. I can screw those up too. Yeah. Or maybe I'll yeah, learn something on this one. And... What did you say, Steve? You're not doing the farm. Uh, no, this is the farm one. This is... Oh, is it the farm one? It's the Golden... Golden Valley Canning one. No, that's... I think... Oh, maybe it's the farm one. The farm one. And other stuff. Oh, no, not that one. There's one that's got the green elevator. There's one that's got the coal... And then there's this one. And I just didn't feel like I had a anything for... Um... Oh, Lynn, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's really fabulous. I'm wrecked on the thousand. Thank you. Yeah, so people keep mentioning that uh, magic number that I hit, and I'm kind of, um, uh, I'm, I'm like slightly nervous about it, because I feel like sometimes, you know, you hit a, you hit a milestone, and then something happens, and you fall back below that milestone, so it's like I'm like holding on, holding on making a big announcement, so my plan is... Um, the meet and greet on March 13th at Northlands in Flemington, I'm kind of going to make that my one day celebration. So starting next week, once I'm pretty sure that I've locked in over a thousand and I'm not going to drop down, I'm going to uh, kind of have a week of one K celebration ish type stuff culminating in the trip to uh, Northlands which I'm hoping I'm going to be able to live stream at least part of it pending the, um, pending the Wi-Fi and the, you know, the cell phone service that's, that's available there. Uh, Digger says, I usually paint the walls, then frames, place and fit the frames, then assemble the wall. And that's what I'd kind of started doing. And then I saw Vinny and, you know, I... And he got my mind thinking. I changed the way I was doing stuff. I know I'm talking and doing other things, but I find... Oh, somebody dropped something. Yeah, it may. But, but I find it kind of funny because I feel like I'm, it, it, I'm probably just going to get these four walls glued up during an hour-long show. Now, it's not like back being kids where we want to get the thing in the day. I mean, the thing here is the simplest kits in the world, but I won't. I'll take my time. I'll take my Yeah, I you always got to remember with this kind of stuff, you know, patience. Important. <laughs> Yeah. What's that? What's patience? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so here's my theory on a lot of this stuff, right? Um, 
So like Digger say, says Vinny knows what he's doing, but then like Robert says that he does it the way Digger does it, which is opposite. Um, let's see, Boulder Creek Yard says he ends up assembling sections based on paint color, and then paint and then assemble the whole thing, which is a little bit what I'm what I'm doing here. Um, the way I try and sort of research this stuff and kind of figure out how I want to do stuff is that I I watch a lot of different people that are good at this kind of thing and then i sort of figure out what they're all doing in common and then i try that yeah that's how i do it too so you know so i i try and pay attention to everybody just well don't uh, watch me yeah y'all know that but sometimes I just lose the plot and just do it. Well, and that's what I've been doing I for the most part. It all depends is... on the kid. Oh, well, my, but, it up. but see, mine's, mine's because of um, my chronic fatigue. Ah, uh, gotcha. Sounds funny, but sometimes you just get to the point that you had enough and you just do it and, yeah doesn't always work I do that a lot too that's kind of the nature of uh, of a lot of modeling is sometimes you just want to be done with it precisely um, Mike I know when I when I lean over you get that extra little shine <coughs> um, and then Boulder Creek says the best way to do it is what you feel works best. And that's, yeah. you know, I guess right now I'm still kind of learning. So I'm watching what other people are doing, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm going to, I'm going to do my thing. It's what's comfortable and what works. Yep. Yep. I must say though, I mean, this is the first time I'm using this. Um, I oh, feel like a little bit for this. I feel like a little bit for this HO scale kit that I don't really need to use this jig. Um, but it's kind of nice. It, it kind of. Yeah, it looks pretty good, actually. Kind of working out pretty well. It's, it's not taking that much extra time. It is kind of helping me keep the whole structure square. Not something I've been good with in the. Uh, SP and Daylight says, I paint my white overall with enamel, then I can paint the wall color with acrylic and erase it off. White trim with water. That's interesting. One technique that I want us to try. Now I'm forgetting who. I don't remember if it was Boomer Models or if it was somebody else, but basically they have this paint that's like a white chalky paint. And you paint that on first. And it's a little bit like the salt technique of weathering. Is you paint that on and then you brush the salt off. This is a similar kind of thing where you paint on this chalky stuff. And then, um, you know, you can kind of brush it off and then it's uh, weathering. Yeah, Boulder Creek Yard. Uh, learn the ways to do it and do what works uh, best. Forcing yourself to do it a way you don't like can turn out worse, which is very true. Yeah, very true. Uh, Digger Evans says, and it makes it fantastically funny <laughs> viewing for your audience. All. <laughs> it's not. Look, I have the saying: if you don't laugh, you're gonna cry. So, yeah, yeah. and and that comes after had, having a heart attack. I um, I I say I'm still here, and if I'm if I don't laugh, I'm going to cry. So I do laugh a bit. And that's, I mean, the the whole point of me doing these Modeling Mondays is, you know, to be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm no expert. But I think there's so many people out there showing the perfect way to do everything that I think it's good to kind of show the process of kind of learning 
look, I, I've said this before and, and, and um, I'll say it here live. Um, that's why I enjoy watching you, Heath, because you're real. Yeah. Um, and, you know, people make mistakes and you show it that you make a mistake, but you also show how you fix it. And that's great. I, I, it, it's, it's really good. And that's yeah, I mean, why I, I enjoy it. I, I really think that um, where, where modeling really sort of shines is how you resolve your, well, you can say it's about life, right? Um, yep. How you resolve your problems in life are really uh are really what you know makes people who they are because because we all have that and the thing is we can't always be good at everything that's true too you know some people are good at some things and you know some people are good at spray painting some people are good at um Woodwork. I'm crap at woodwork, but you know that's. Um, but I'm good at electronics. You know, it's just everybody has their own thing that they're really good at. I am much happier doing electronics than doing any of this sort of thing. So, but I. I also know that I sort of look at the electronics as kind of like the veins and the arteries, and it's like you've got to take care of both sides of oh, it. Yes, you um, do. So I kind of like that. And uh, Mr. Pictovit says, Heath is real. I thought he was a figment of my imagination. Speaking of figment, I was very disappointed when they got rid of figment at uh, Disney World. Uh, Mike says he brush paints everything, especially What's bricks. That? The color is not uniform. It's just modeled like buildings in the environment. Yeah, so my plan with painting this, let's see if I can do this a little bit. My plan was to get sort of a base of reddish color on it and then i was going to go through with either white and or black i'm not sure which uh, weathering powder and kind of get that stuck in the in the grooves of the brick and then kind of you know wipe it off the face of the bricks so that i'm left with that kind of uneven uneven surface at least that was my that was my thought and Graham says he hasn't attempted to paint anything yet. And I got to tell you, Graham, it was really nerve wracking the first time I painted anything. Um, but part of why I bought this this kit for this contest was for $100, I get three kits. And I feel like if I completely screw them up, you know, at least I've learned something. So I am not going to put any of these roof features, roof, 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 you say the word, I'm not going to put any of these roof features on because I do think I want to do more of the painting first. Um, I think what I want to do is paint the back paint, the windows and stuff and put some of those in. Oh, here's something that's very confusing to me. So this is this is the directions, right? This is the whole set of directions. This is it, the whole thing. There's no back page here. Look at the box. There's this there's this boiler house building. And if you look at all the parts I have. got these extra parts I mean, I, i'm assuming for the boiler house but there's no that's that, that's common that's common there's for, nothing in the walther's kit that tells me what i do that a screw no you get extra parts in walther's kit because well, one sprue may have parts for two different kits no, I get, I get that I have extra. I, I get that part of it, but there is a boiler house according to the picture and the and the little uh, the little ground plan here. So it is something I should be building. I just don't know. It's just uh, it's so funny. 
literally no instructions for how. Yeah, a lot of them don't. I don't know why. When I used to do Hornby's, um, I used to buy some Hornby houses when I was doing HO, and they were really good because they gave you really good instructions, but um, things change. I mean, I literally... It literally does not have... Uh, what I'm wondering is if there's supposed to be something printed on this side and it's not... Uh... <laughs> it's not... Uh, welcome to Walther's. P.S. It's ten till. Eat six. No, I don't need to walk the dog. The dog's already <laughs> walked. But um, yeah. So can uh, John Schuylkill River? Can you see if you can find the link to um, Bar Mills show that they're gonna do? Oh, I see. This is these pieces. I think are the are the sides yep that's what it is these three pieces are the sides here to the um to the little thingamajig the chimney stack I think it's so funny that I'll, there's no directions for this. It's <laughs> so funny. Um, yeah, so uh, what I'm doing is John from Schuylkill River Valley is going to look for the Bar Mills link um, so that we can post it up and uh, then people can head over there. Um, so Bar Mills is on at 7. Uh, Tom's Trains and Things is on at 8.30. Uh, Nick, if he's still here, he usually does a live stream at 8 that goes on for a really long time. Uh, Nick's Trains, NIX Trains, if people uh, want to hang out later. Uh, Northlands on March 13th. It's going to be my 1K celebration. And um, that's kind of that's kind of my story for tonight. Uh, Greg, uh, Steve, or Paul, or anybody, do you guys have? Or Paul, Dave, why do I want to call you Paul? I have uh, no idea. Dave, do you guys, uh, do you guys have any uh, parting thoughts? Oh, not really, but I would like to thank anybody who subscribed recently. I actually hit 22 the other day, so I'm really happy about that. Thank nice. you. And I'm getting some good hits on my um, channel for starting to um, pick up. So thank you, everybody, for um, looking. As somebody who's now at 1,000, and that's not a lot in the grand scheme of YouTube, but I will say no. that first 100... It's tough. Yeah. Um, definitely, well, definitely. I, I, as, as I said, I was doing a live stream and, and um, because we still, you know, have COVID restrictions um, for a church and I've set up the technical side of it for them. And um, we've done four so far and every one we've had 80-something views on, which is really fantastic considering we're still trying to get it working. We've had sound issues. And I was just blown away by that. So, and and that was live. So that's pretty good. Yeah, it's a community that wants to, you know, support people. So that's, yep. you know, I think that's that's what I love about this community. And there's oh, you know, other communities this, out yeah. there as well. Um, Look, one of the one of the things I find about this community is nobody says, "Oh, that's crap." It's um, everybody's supportive and helpful and friendly, and it's fantastic. Absolutely. Here. Yes, sir. Um, Walters does carry PDF files of all their manual, all their instructions. You might want to check to see if there is a page print, misprint on that one. Well, you say that now, I'm already putting it together. So. <laughs> oh, for the boiler. No, I get you. I get you. I, I, I did think that I should check that. Um, as well, I just uh, I figured for this main structure, it's probably pretty straightforward. Oh, but I'll have to check it definitely when I uh, in a free moment. What once I can't figure out the picture anymore on the front of the uh, 
on the box. I'll, I'll need to check that out. Uh, Boulder Creek is saying it's up there, so yeah, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely have to check that out. Uh, so for me, I'm gonna try and get at least another video out in the middle of the week. It's likely gonna be on the alpha meter. Uh, I've been working with uh, DCC Concepts, getting this set up for my situation, and um, I'm really excited about this. Uh, I'm a big fan of making sure that your your power's right, so you don't blow anything up. Uh, so that's probably going to happen this week, and then Friday I'll do my morning stream. On Saturday we'll be at Northlands, and then on Sunday I've got Sidetrack Sunday. So that's going to be my sort of... Uh, I'm sorry. That's not this week. That's next week. Sorry, this week's just Friday. Um, then after that, yeah. So Thomas, so where we're going next? So I'm gonna close this down. We're all gonna go over to Bar Mills. Uh, Bar Mills uh, Model Works. This is their channel. Um, at seven o'clock, they're gonna do. I think it's gonna be about an hour and a half long, uh, like a modeling type of program type thing and uh, we're going to check it out. They're going to do their program the first Monday of every month. So for the first Monday, I'm only going to do an hour, and then next week I'll go back to doing uh, two hours so that I can get you know a little bit further during each, uh, during each session. So on that note, or Steve or um, Dave, did you, either of you have anything, any parting thoughts? No, nope. I'll have no, sure. my update. I've got an update coming out uh, tomorrow. Awesome. Nope. Awesome. Well, gentlemen, I'm going to uh, drop you into the basement, just roll my little outro with my sponsors and stuff on it, the people that uh, support and help make this show possible, uh, including my individual supporters are listed and... Uh, I really appreciate everybody uh, being here. And uh, Thomas is asking, so you don't need StreamYard. Uh, if you send me an email, uh, let me know what kind of projects you want to work on. I will send you a link. And all you need is a browser. And with that browser, you join through a browser uh, to StreamYard. So you don't need uh, you don't need StreamYard to get it. So, yeah. Thank so you, guys, much. for... Well, thank you. He's the one running the program. All right. Yes, awesome. thank you, Heath. Thank you, everybody. Thank Talk you. to everyone later. See ya. See ya. Bye.